Tabletop Science from NPR Science Friday and me, Lynn Brunel. This time we're going to talk about water. We're going to talk about the water cycle. We're going to figure out why it rains and how it rains. And we're actually going to make it rain inside with a plastic soda pop bottle. Rain and inside? Really? Rain, rain, rain. It's nothing new, right? We all know about rain, but how does it happen? It happens because of a thing called the water cycle. What? So what is the water cycle? It's made up of three parts. There's evaporation, there's condensation, and there's precipitation. What? I know, it's a bunch of big words, but it isn't that hard. Evaporation is when the sun comes down, beats down onto the earth, and it makes the water molecules on the earth get all excited, heats them up, gets them all excited, until they finally go, go into the atmosphere. And they become, instead of water, they become water vapor. They turn from a liquid into a gas. And those molecules go up, 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 up. It's evaporation, and you can see it, too. Take a little water and pour it on a sidewalk or a street on a hot, sunny day and just wait a little bit and it'll disappear. It might take a little time. It's still evaporating! Fascinating! Look, see, it's gone. The sun came down and it heated up all these water molecules and they got all wiggly and jiggly and they turned into water vapor and they evaporated. Take a look at the steam in this kettle. See the water is boiling here, a lot, a lot of heat going into the water and it's turning the water molecules into a steam, it's into a gas, and then the gas is going up. This is called evaporation. The water is turning into a gas, water vapor, and it's going up. Can you see it? That's evaporation. It's evaporation. Evaporation! So once the water molecules are up there in the air, they're evaporated, they're in there, they go up high, 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 and the colder it gets, the slower those molecules start moving and they stick together. They condense. It's called condensation. Condensation! And you can see it when you look up into the sky and you see clouds. Those are condensed water molecules that come together and they stick together. That's condensation. I love clouds. Yeah, well, who doesn't love looking at those amazing evaporated water molecules condensing around up there, getting ready to precipitate or not? Yeah, and they're fluffy too. Once you get a cloud, once you get the condensation, the water molecules stick together, stick together, and then they start to get heavy, and they start to fall out of the cloud, and that's precipitation. Precipitation, mm -hmm. right here. Could come down in snow, perhaps some rain, maybe a little bit of sleet. It can fall out as rain, it can fall out as snow, as sleet, as hail. If it's falling out of a cloud, it's precipitation. Precipitation. It's raining. Precipitation. <coughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't get it. It's the water cycle. Look, I'll show you. Sun heats up the earth and it makes the water evaporate up. Then the water condenses into clouds and it gets all and you can even see it. Condensation is on this mirror and all these drips are precipitation. Can't hold it anymore and it starts to rain back down to the ground. And it starts all over again. And over and over and over and over. It's the water cycle. What? That's why I got a job. <laughs> it's a cycle. You got evaporation, evaporation, condensation, condensation, precipitation, precipitation, the water cycle. Oh, the water cycle. It's so amazing. It's the water cycle. What goes up comes down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Get it? Cycle? Mm. And you can make it rain in your own kitchen. Look, all you need is a plastic pop bottle. You need some boiling water, and some ice, and a pair of scissors. Here's what to do. You want to make a cut right about at the shoulder of your pop bottle. You want to probably get a grown-up to do this so you don't hurt yourself. And you're going to cut the pop bottle off right at the shoulder. You're going to keep the cap on. Now, you want to make sure it fits, and it does. You're going to fill the top part with ice. This is your icy, 
coolness of space right here. And in the bottom of your pop bottle, you're going to pour hot tap water. As hot as you can get it without melting the pop bottle. And then you're going to see it evaporate and condense. Watch this. Okay. See all that condensation? That's a cloud. The water is evaporating. It's coming into the sky, and it's coming up, and it's hitting this icy part of space. And if you look for long enough, it'll condense, and it'll start to precipitate out. Hmm, cool. Okay, do you see that? Can you see the drop here at the end of this cap? It's about to drop in. That's precipitation. The water molecules, they evaporated up, they got cold, they stuck together, and now they're dripping off the end of that cap. Can you see it? Try it. You'll see. Try it. And check out my blog. You'll find all sorts of experiments. You'll find this one and you'll find a couple of more too. Try it. Thanks for joining me on Tabletop Science. See you next time.